This is Android Apps for Amateur Radio. In this short little video, I'm going to go over seven applications for Amateur Radio. As you can see from the list in the Google Play Store, there are many others. Let's start out with Hamtest Prep. With this app, you can get your amateur radio license. This app has a whole question pool right in it. It can give you sample tests for technician, general, and extra. It also keeps track of what questions you've mastered. From the main screen, you can decide whether you want to take a practice test or just study the exam itself. For instance, this screen shows you all 10 elements. This is a great study guide for the exam. Here's an example of what a test question will look like. At the end of the exam, it'll show which questions you've missed and their exact reference number. Next, we go on to Repeater Book. Repeater Book uses the GPS in your phone as well as a repeater directory to determine which repeaters are closest to you, as well as the distance from the repeater. Repeater Book can also Bluetooth to many newer radios. On this screen we can see W7ZA, the 2 meter repeater, is 7.4 miles away, as well as KA7, DNK is 7.4 miles away on UHF. We can also set what repeaters we want to see, for instance 70 centimeters, 2 meters, 1.2 meters, and 6 meters. It does use automatic location from your GPS to get the best list for you. Now on to QRZ. This is a great call sign lookup application. You'll basically see all the information you'd expect to see from a regular QRZ page. As well as a recently found area and an area to share that data. I use it as a mobile log. Now here's APRS Droid. A neat little client to get your feet wet on APRS. This screen shows the activity for APRS in your area. APRS Droid also has a map for more detailed information. One thing that's pretty neat is you can actually send messages with APRS Droid. Now one thing that APRS Droid does require is that you have your APRS-IS passcode, which you can easily get from several locations. Echolink is another neat little app. It lets you get on the Echolink system. You can join conferences if you want. You can look up by area and connect directly to a repeater. You can also connect to the test server so you can test your audio level into the repeaters and conferences. And then it's just a matter of transmitting. There are also numerous DX cluster applications. This one is NKC Cluster. It has your standard DX window, as well as more information about the DX spot. There's also filters to filter out either the band or the mode that you want to use. And last but not least, we have Antenna Tool. All you have to do with this guy is type in the frequency and it'll tell you how long to build the antenna. It can give you dimensions for dipoles, verticals, inverted Vs, quad loops, delta loops, and yagis. For verticals, it gives you the dimensions all the way from an eighth inch vertical all the way up to a full wave vertical. And for inverted Vs, it gives you multiple information, not just the size of the legs, as well as a lot of information on the delta loop. There are also many applications that have ham radio tools on them as well that I didn't go over on this video, as well as some applications from the ARRL, including the regular ARRL application, their QST application, and their Logbook of the World application. I hope this video has been helpful, and 73s from N9LVS.